Okay, we got some instrument right. So we got a polygon. Shape's a polygon. Shape has an odd number of sides. So an odd number of sides. It can't have a one-sided shape. So odd number of sides. Okay, those are possible. The shape is not a triangle, so I can't have a three-sided shape. The shape has fewer than seven sides, so it's got to be a five-sided polygon. Okay, so the first thing I, I, I know, now know is the shape is a five-sided polygon. Three of those interior angles are 106, and the other angles are marked to the next. So if I just quickly draw a five-sided polygon here, it's telling me three of them are 106, and the others well, there's two of them are each x, so those two are equal to each other. Now then, if it's a five-sided polygon, I can calculate what the interior angles add up to. So five sides, then I take away two. Right? So five sides, if I take away two, that means I've got three triangles. I can make three triangles, so I do three lots of 180 degrees to find out the total of them are. So three lots of 180. 180 times 3, nothing times 3 is nothing, 8 threes are 24, 4 don't carry 2, 1 three is 3, and 2 is 5. That's 540 degrees, these add up to all together. So if I add up the 300 success, 6, 12, 18, 8 don't carry 1, nothing, 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 1, 1, 2, 3. So I so if I take the 318 away from the 540, I find out what these two add up to. So 540, take away 318. Nothing to take away 8, can't do. So the borrow from the 4, so that's a 3, that becomes a 10. 10 take away 8 is 2. 3 take away 1 is 2. 5 take away 3 is 2. So I've got 222 degrees to share equally between these two values. So x is going to be half of 222 so 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once so x is 111 degrees